Hello everybody, it's Teenage Code, and today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. I've been developing games for over a year now, and I'm going to review all of them. So before we really get started, I'm going to play one of my Scratch games from 2017. I think I'll do this pinball one right here. <laughs> oh, no way! When I was a little kid, I had no clue how copyright worked, and I just went up to my iPad and I recorded it playing Data Ghost by Arctic Moon. Yeah, this game is amazing. And I'm just realizing how unfun this game is. Okay, this is the first game that I actually ever really released. Uh, and you can see it doesn't even have a thumbnail. This was over a year ago. But this was made like using real code in the Godot game engine. This is not another Scratch project. Okay, this is actually a pretty neat lighting effect. I don't know what's going on with these triangles here. I'm just going to jump right in though and play it. Um, it's pretty, pretty obvious <laughs> what this game might just be resembling. This music comes from Antis Instrumentals. That's where I got pretty much most of my music from for any video game ever. Oh no, I remember that part. That part is almost impossible. You have to get it frame perfect. I remember when I was making the game, I set up the level so that I would just spawn right next to that spot over and over until I actually finish it. Probably took me 30 plus attempts. So I don't think that I'll be beating this level today. I really do like the background and the way everything is set up for lighting. Yeah, the background comes from GD Quest on YouTube. Probably why I like it, it didn't actually come from me. Overall, this isn't actually too bad for like, you know, a first starting game. You know, the scope isn't too big and, you know, all the small little effects are just kind of nice. The next game that we have here is Zombies vs. Plants. <laughs> the first comet. Very hard to play. It requires a lot of work. I made this for a game jam, and I think I only had a week to do it. <laughs> yeah, recommended, okay. <laughs> I am openly apologizing about how bad the controls are in the credits here. Okay, let's see if I can get the hang of this. Um... Am I, am I missing something here? Because these, these arrow keys are not doing anything. Well, that just about concludes Zombies vs. Plants. Pretty horrible experience. You know what the weird thing is? This game actually still gets views and downloads and plays to this day. And this is why. If you search up Plants vs. Zombies, my thing is the fifth result. So I imagine all the 12 year old kids, you know, they search up Plants vs. Zombies, you know, <laughs> trying, to, trying to get it for free, and they come across my thing, you know, and they just uh, say, okay, what, what the heck, you know, they give it a shot and they just, you know, see crap. The next game that I'm going to be playing is the game that I thought was going to make me a millionaire. Right around this time last year, I spent two months on this game called Spacer. And when I released it, I was confident that I was going to get millions of downloads, but I only got about 100. And I can completely understand why. This game is very, like, mediocre. Like, I'm not really sure why I expected this game to go, like, viral. Like, this is just <laughs> a mediocre game. Maybe in the early 2000s this would have popped off, but... Sure, it's a fun little game that you can play every here and there, but this, yeah, no, this was definitely not worthy of a million dollars. Because I think nowadays I could probably recreate this in just a week. Like, so yeah, not the worst game in the world, but definitely not worthy of the one million bucks I thought it was. Next up, we have the absolute most successful game that I have ever made. I'll show you why that is in a little bit. So this is my little recreation of Grand Theft Auto. I would say my best achievement here was getting the civilian AI to like walk around and do stuff. They all have certain nodes that they just walk to, and then they run away once you start shooting, and the police officers shoot back at you. Yeah, so after 10 kills you unlock an RPG. Boom. I made this in 10 days for a game jam called 70 FPS. 
I am actually pretty proud of this game. For only having 10 days and making practically everything there is to a core GTA game, this is a job well done. The reason that this game is so successful is that because whenever people type in GTA, my game is almost one of the first results to come up. This means that all those little 12 year olds trying to get GTA for free tend to click on my game. Finally, my most recent and underplayed game, Generic Scary Game. So this is another one where it took me about two months to make, and I had really high hopes for it. I was planning on making a YouTube video and getting like Markiplier to play it, you know, because he does all those scary games, but I guess my game just wasn't good enough to pick up any attention. You just go around and you speedrun, picking up all of these keys and picking up a whole bunch of limbs to go and reassemble this dead body. It is a totally cheesy game. You can see how like the lighting is just awful. Uh, you know, trying to just juice that feeling of scariness. And I mean, the video game is fairly well polished. You know, you can see how I've been getting better at that as my game dev experience has been going on. But it's still just not that great of a game. If you put all of the parts onto the body, you get this windscreen. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, while playing this game, I actually kind of am a little bit scared. So there are two ways to lose in this game. One is to run out of time, or two is if you enter this closet. When you lose, this horrible CGI jump scare comes up. And that's it, really. I had to credit so many different authors in this game. It is unbelievable. Because I pretty much didn't make any of the assets myself. I mean, this whole thing alone took me like two days to finish. And there you have it everybody, this video just goes to show that you can indeed grow as a game dev and make more polished and bigger games, but that doesn't mean that they will be good or that they will even do well. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.